Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate you. So today's video is a follow-up to my last video about a uh, very popular body positivity uh, influencer plus size model, Gabriella Lascano, kind of coming out publicly and basically shutting down fat acceptance rhetoric. I made that video and I was like, okay, I, I'm done with this topic now. <laughs> But then somebody commented on it saying you should do a video on the reactions she's getting. And I was like, this sounds like a whole rabbit hole that <laughs> it can go down. And I did. So I wanted to show some of the most like notable reactions I saw from people and then just kind of talk about it. Because I think this is like a prime example of what happens when somebody tries to leave like the body positivity fat acceptance sphere because they no longer really align with what it stands for. Um, and yeah, so I thought it would be really interesting. If you have not seen the original video, I will play it here really quickly. I'm gonna say something controversial and I don't care. I don't care how trendy or cute or fun it seems to be fat. Don't let that shit fuck with your head. Don't let the idea that, oh, I could catch a dick no matter how big I am, cause you to forget about your health and to keep gaining weight. I actually feel kind of guilty for being a part of this movement and i know it's not my fault or my responsibility to keep other people's health but being a pioneer in this game like i literally was one of the first influencers to work with fashion nova before they even had a plus size line so when i say i'm a pioneer i'm a pioneer i'm one of the main reasons why we have the plus size fashion industry that we have and you could argue with anybody that's the truth and my point is, is that I see a lot of fat girls who gain a lot of weight from being caught up in this movement and turning around five, six, seven years later talking about, damn, I let my health go to shit. I got this problem now. I'm 400 pounds. I can't do this. I can't do that. Babe, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Being attractive, being able to still wear nice clothes is not the end all be all. You got to really think about your health. Because when you're in your 20s, you think that life is just rainbows and candy. You don't even think about the future. But when you start creeping up in age, babes, it's going to catch up to you. I don't care what nobody say. I'm not saying that every fat person is unhealthy. Hello, I'm fat. I'm not claiming that you got to hate fat people. That's literally the opposite of what I'm saying. But let's be fucking for real. Health is real. Organs failing is real. Diabetes, heart disease, all that shit is real, okay? It's not fat phobic to care about your health. And if nobody else wants to say it, let me fucking tell you the truth. Love yourself at any size, wear the clothes you want to wear, but don't forget that your heart has to beat, babes. Don't forget that your blood sugar has to keep a balance, babe. No amount of Instagram pictures looking cute and being an influencer wearing a size whatever you are is going to stop your heart from not beating if you eat in bacon every day. And this is coming from someone who's learning those fucking, those, those, those lessons now, myself. So to the younger girls, the younger generation, take care of your health. It's not fat phobic to take care of your health. It's not a joke. And I'm saying this out of love, not out of self-hate. I see a lot of my fellows, fellow content creator, fellow plus size, fellow bloggers, whatever you want to call them, plus size models, now talking about wanting to get healthy, now talking about needing to da-da-da-da. Because five, six, seven years ago, when they were 22, when they were 21, 25, it wasn't a problem. Now you're 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, whatever the case is. And you're like, damn, I can't get pregnant. I'm getting, I have this problem. I got that problem. The problems creep up, babe. And the reality is loving yourself also includes taking care of your body. If you want this body to last 100 years, you got to take care of it. So don't let me, don't let nobody else convince you that taking care of your health is fat phobic. And if somebody's telling you that, it's because they're miserable and they want you to die and stay fat like them. I took a lot of heat when I started talking about my weight loss journey and now everybody else suddenly want to talk about it. I wonder why. If you're unfamiliar with me, I had weight loss surgery about four years ago and it'll be five in September. I've lost and maintained the loss of 100 pounds. And I was very much like in the body positivity realm. Like I consumed a bunch of that content, like all that kind of stuff. And I really do think it affected me very negatively um, growing up. And so that's like why I talk about these things on my channel. So let's just play a couple of the clips here and I will report back. I don't even like to make videos anymore, but I have to say something about this, um, because I have some, some own opinions on this. As a fat person myself, why are you mad that there are more fat influencers? We grew up not having any, us, the people that are in our 20s, grew up not having any, um, Tumblr, 
promote very much pro Anna bullshit, and um, there are ways we can censor that now because there are more fat creators that people can go to to look for. I don't think that y'all really care about other people's health it's because y'all don't talk about skinny people. Y'all don't talk about you know. Y'all don't. Your mindset. You don't have disabled people in your mind. You don't have people that have medical issues. You don't have people that were born that way. My uncle was born big bone. The always been big. Always. I gain weight because of medicines I'm on and because I have a uh, autoimmune disease and I can't work out and buying healthy food is not always cheap. Buying groceries in general right now is not cheap. Are you going to buy people's vegan groceries? And you're like bragging about being one of the first pioneer fat women to work in the fashion industry. Fashion Nova is notorious for stealing ideas from small businesses and other creators, but okay, go off. I don't think it's wrong for fat women to have this mindset of like, I can get anybody no matter what it look like, because that's a good mindset to have. Because your looks shouldn't matter. And yeah, you're talking about health, but you're literally saying it's all fun and cute to be fat. When is it ever fun to be fat? When? It's never fun to be the fat friend. Dating as a fat person is hard. Medical doctors blame everything on your fucking weight. Public seating isn't made for you. You are always like the butt fucking joke. There's so much fat phobia in media. And honestly, this feels like internalized fat phobia and you're just projecting yourself and your insecurities onto other fucking girls. People aren't going out of the way to become fat influencers. They're fat and are influencers. Okay, so with that one, first things first, she's not mad that there's more fat influencers. Gabriella herself is still a fat influencer and she said that. Uh, I think she's just more so angry that like nobody talks about the negative effects of being fat and that like there are more like more than likely going to be more negative side effects down the line and nobody talks about that and we don't talk about skinny people a lot because i feel like it's been more widely just accepted that it is unhealthy to be super thin whereas like it's almost tiptoed around to talk about how unhealthy it is to be super morbidly obese and i think that's very interesting and i don't really know why that is but yeah that yeah. And I don't think Gabriella was trying to exclude disabled people or people with medical conditions or whatever. She was talking about her own experience, which is allowed. And that's what she was doing. And also, in my personal opinion, I don't believe anyone's born super morbidly obese. I certainly was not. I do have a bigger frame, like that's been established. And I've always found the topic of the food price comparisons really interesting. And I always did kind of agree with that because for a certain, for a point there, healthier foods were more expensive. But now a carton of eggs is $7 and a McDonald's meal is like 10. So it's like really starting to kind of even out. Honestly, if you're trying to save money, the carton of eggs would be a better option because it'll feed you longer. But yeah, I think it's still very interesting, a very interesting topic. And nobody, including Gabriella, has ever said that it's a bad thing, at least reasonable minded people have ever said that it's a bad thing for fat people to be like, I can get whoever I want. Having self-confidence is never a bad thing regardless of what size you are. That's not the point of this video. So I already left a comment about this and I wasn't gonna say anything else because my moods are already gathering her. <laughs> but I gotta say something like I, I really tend to sit back and mind my business. I'm not minding my business because it's people like her that generally make my ass itch to the 10th degree. Y'all only ever want to have conversations about health and wellness when it comes to fat people. Let me say that one more time. Y'all only ever want to have conversations about health and wellness when it comes to fat people. Y'all are not addressing food deserts. Y'all not talking about how unaffordable healthcare is. You're not bringing up the fact that people with diabetes have to ration their insulin because they can't afford it. Do you know how expensive asthma inhalers are? Like... Do you understand that people don't have access to basic resources? But y'all want to talk about health and wellness. No, you don't. You want to bully fat people. Like, let's call a spade a spade because fat people do it too. Y'all just enjoy bullying fat people. And a bitch like me, I'm not with the shits. Because it's quite obvious, whomever this is, this Gabriella person, she think that she's different than the girl that got on here and slandered that model for being fat she thinks she's actually doing something but nah y'all two peas in the same pod honey like because y'all could only start talking about health and wellness when it comes to fat people i do not care that she's fat i don't care how many of her cronies want to sit here and be like oh yeah she was just she just cares about people she just wants people to be healthy i don't care all you have in this opinion 
and a preconceived notion about what health is. I'm not moved. No mountains are moving over here. I don't care. I thought this one was really interesting because like her main rebuttal was just immediately drawing a bunch of like false equivalencies to try and make her point when really they have nothing to do with anything. Like yes, all of those things are very valid things to talk about in the medical system, very valid concerns, but just because all of those things exist does not mean we shouldn't talk about other things that exist. It just seems like this person was trying to like distract from the point. That's what I got from it. And Gabriella wasn't bullying anybody. <laughs> She's just experiencing things now that she gets older that younger fat people aren't experiencing and she's trying to kind of just issue a warning. At least that's what I saw because that's what I've kind of been trying to do on my platform for the last few years. And I don't like the girl that she talks about. I'll insert that video. Are you really gonna sit here and tell me obese people aren't as big as you think they are? When, cause when I look at this photo, um, what? I'm not saying that you have to look like the two women on the left, but there is something clearly wrong with the woman on the right. Not saying that she's not worthy and deserving of love because she is, but she's unhealthy. She can hardly fit in her freaking shoes. I am so confused. Why on earth would we promote people walking around and looking like this? It's not healthy. And it's honestly mean to say that someone is beautiful and all this stuff when it's like we're literally lying to them and making them think that it's okay to be that way when it's really not because it's hurting their health and it's shortening their lives. If you really care about people, you tell them the truth. I don't like the person that she talked about saying that she slandered somebody, but that wasn't slander. So I think it's funny when people misuse the word slander. I don't know why, I just think it's hilarious. I just saw the video that everyone on Body Positive TikTok is talking about and I wanna make a very quick point that anyone who talks about fatness being trendy or a trend or cool, don't listen to them. They are not credible. Anyone who says that is honestly delusional because look at how fat phobic and diet centric and just demonized fat people and fatness is in society. Who is saying it's a trend? Who is saying it's trendy? It's demonized everywhere. What's to look forward to? What's cool about it? What's trendy? Getting harassed on every single platform? Every single day? Getting videos taken down, removed from, monetization, uh, getting deplatformed entirely because we posted a video that then people can post anytime they want all the time? You know, getting medical neglect, being just outcasted in society and have your body be an epidemic? It is bullshit. So just don't listen to anyone who says that. Of course, Blotchmaker had to make a video. I don't think being fat is trendy, but I do think it honestly has become more socially acceptable over time. I'm not saying that's a bad thing either because representation is very important. I think we also have to be honest. Uh, and also just absolutely not surprising that like a fat acceptance creator would just diminish someone else's experience right away without really listening to what they're trying to say. Uh, I feel like that happens often. Here's the thing. I wasn't going to comment on this. So many people have already made fantastic videos and responses about this, but I did see a bunch of people ask me what my opinion was that they wanted to hear my take, so I figured I'd make a video. And I mean, up front, I think it was incredibly fat phobic and incredibly irresponsible to make a video like that, considering what fat people, fat women have to go through on the daily to receive even a smidgen of human decency and how they're always fighting to show that weight does not equate to health. But the reason I didn't initially make a video is because I receive a lot of privilege as a mid-sized woman and I didn't want to feel like I was talking over anyone else's voice. But then I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video asking you guys to tag other fat creators you've seen, make videos about this and their takes on it um, so we can elevate their voices because this is a real issue that they're dealing with. So tag them below. I don't know who this person is, um, but she is beautiful and I love her eye makeup. But Gabriella's video was not fat phobic. She was literally just talking about her own lived experiences. Uh, her whole point is that it's not fat phobic to care about your health, but it seems like people just totally missed that plot, I guess, which is like a running theme throughout all of these responses. Like I feel like people, people and Gabriella's point just, just did not under, just, it just did not register because two things can be true at once. <laughs> Fat people and fat women in particular can be treated very unfairly in society, but also being fat can be unhealthy. 
two they're, they're not mutually exclusive like both of those things can happen at the same time i've literally been seething with anger about these two videos right here for the past two three days if there's ever a video of mine not to scroll past don't scroll past this one so a couple days ago gabriella lascano made a video that starts off like this I'm gonna say something controversial and I don't care. I don't care how trendy or cute or fun it seems to be fat. Don't let that shit fuck with your head. I followed Gabriella for a long time. She's a very prominent, popular plus size creator, plus size model. Being a pioneer in this game, like I literally was one of the first influencers to work with Fashion Nova before they even had a plus size line. So when I say I'm a pioneer, I'm a pioneer. She is a pioneer in the fashion part of the body positive movement, but not the political part. And that's important. I see a lot of fat girls who gain a lot of weight from being caught up in this movement. Girl, I can say with 100% certainty that not a single person has been like, you know what? I want to gain weight because people on the internet make it seem super fun to be fat. But what that does is feed into this whole promoting obesity narrative that has been weaponized against us since the beginning as a way for people to say that they don't want to see fat people happy anywhere. Gabriella, are you telling me that in your time of being a fat content creator in all of these years that you have never seen people comment on your photos on your account that you're promoting obesity just by existing and taking photos? Have you forgotten? That was the whole barrier that you claim to be a pioneer in breaking and now you want to build that wall back up. I actually feel kind of guilty for being a part of this movement and I know it's not my fault or my responsibility to keep other people's health. What you're seeing is not an increase of fat people. It's an increase of fat representation. But it's giving like, I did what I wanted to do. I made my money. I made my bag. I built my platform and now I'm chilling. And that is the reason why the plus size community has to stop looking to models and influencers to be thought leaders in this space. Because nine times out of 10, they just want a bag. Not all, but a lot of them, they just wanted us to help them bring down the barriers so that they could make the money. A lot of them don't understand the politics that allow them to get to where they are and it shows. So throughout the video, she talks about health, health, health. We should not moralize health. But aside from that, you cannot generalize or speculate the habits of fat people or thin people. You've been in this space long enough to know that's not true. You have been in this space through the beginning of Hayes or H-A-E-S. You've been in this space during the time where like we had all the plus size influencers in their sports wear, proving that they go to the gym, showing what they eat in a day, whatever. You have been in that space long enough to see all those things. If you have fat friends and you have thin friends, you know that people live their lives identically but we'll have different body parts. Organs failing is real. Diabetes, heart disease, all that shit is real, okay? There's literally no health issue that is exclusive to fat people. Nobody's saying that these health issues don't exist, but they are not exclusive to fat people. I don't really think about your health. Because when you're in your 20s, you think that life is just rainbows and candy. You don't even think about the future. But when you start creeping up in age, babes, it's gonna catch up to you. I don't care what nobody say. Literally nothing that you're saying is exclusive to fat people, so why are you addressing us specifically? So let's be honest. You're feeling that it's gone too far because there are people fatter than you who you've automatically deemed to be more unhealthy and you wanna draw your little line in the sand right next to where you are. Just enough so you can fit over it. But anyone bigger than you, is doing too much. Also, the people around you, the people you came up with, the people that you admire. I see a lot of my fellows, fellow content creator, fellow plus size, fellow bloggers, whatever you wanna call them, plus size models, now talking about wanting to get healthy, now talking about needing to da 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 da. Are getting this inkling that, you know, the idealizing of thinness is about to be more prominent and they're all jumping ship. They are losing weight left and right, swallowing their words, becoming mid-sized, whatever. And you're like, oh shit. I'm probably not gonna be able to maintain the level of status that I'm at if things change unless I hop on board. And also, girl, you tried it because there's nothing in that video that is controversial to most people. The only people that you're punching down on are the people that have supported you from the beginning of your career. Otherwise, everyone else in the world agrees with you. The only thing that you've done as a very visible fat content creator is give non-fat people an excuse to dig their heels into this extremely non-nuanced opinion of fat people without feeling guilty because you, a fat person, has co-signed this bias. 
your words directly inspired a miserable person to take a photo of my friend Jordan from ED Twitter and post a video about it harassing them and they felt better about it because of you. This was stitched to your video. And it's honestly mean to say that someone is beautiful and all this stuff when it's like we're literally lying to them. So not too much on Sydney right now because they do not seem like a very rational person. She responded to a comment that Jordan left on her video saying that maybe God is speaking through me and I'm like, Neither you nor Sydney are the second coming of Christ, delivering a message to fat people that we have not already heard before. You forget that fat people live outside of their phones. We live in the real world where unsolicited advice is abundant and the reminders that the world hates fat people are constant and extremely undiluted and clear. But also if you follow Jordan, it literally takes no time at all to see how much hate they receive on the daily. But because you, Sydney, saw them making a bag and saw that some people are actually kind human beings and people see the beauty in them and the value in them, you were like, we gotta squash this immediately. Miserable. And Gabriella, you were talking about this is not internalized fat phobia, but like, listen to yourself. Don't let nobody else convince you that taking care of your health is fat phobic. And if somebody's telling you that, it's because they're miserable and they want you to die and stay fat like them. They're miserable and they want you to die and stay fat like them. Does that sound like somebody who thinks it's okay to be fat? Does that sound like somebody who loves fat people? I will say that I understand where, pe that I can understand where people are coming from by saying they think by calling by Gabriella calling being fat trendy or cute that she is kind of perpetuating that narrative that like fat people just online existing online are promoting obesity I don't think that's true I never have thought that's true um so I do understand what people are thinking of like with that point point. and I didn't go into the movement like thinking I wanted to become fat or bigger than I already was because I already was fat but I don't think many people do I do think people go into the body positivity movement only for it to turn into the fat acceptance movement, um, but they're really just looking for a place to like commiserate over body image issues. And then they just proceed to be fed like all these really like harmful narratives and like very, and like messages that they weren't looking for. That's what happened to me. And I'm sure she has seen people comment that she is promoting obesity, but the whole point of this is that she didn't let it stop her from coming to terms with the stat with the state of her health. And I don't have any hard stats, but I do think the amount of fat people has increased. Um I think that is a thing that has happened. And I don't disagree that we should that we shouldn't moralize health like yeah, I just don't think health has any moral value to it. And as you said, like she has been in these spaces and she's now coming to terms with the fact that maybe some of the things people talk about in them aren't true and are hurting people. That's what I gathered. And yes, all of the medical conditions she's talking about aren't only exclusive to fat people, but they are more likely to happen in fat people. And she's only saying that like she feels like the movement, I think I think she's only saying that the reason she feels the movement has like gone too far is because now she's experiencing those negative harmful side effects herself. And the other influencers that you talk about are losing weight because they've also had health scares like watch any of their videos explaining why they're starting to lose weight and it has to do with like their health and a scare that they had at the doctor and i fell down the rabbit hole of the creator that like singled out jordan uh and like called her and like point the the tiktok that i showed you where she's like this person's not beautiful and i think she would have said those things regardless if gabriella made this video or not um she has some interesting takes. <laughs> Anyways, with that one being done, I'm going to end on this TikTok from a doctor, uh, kind of explaining why, what Gabriella was trying to say in medical terms. And this woman is a real doctor. I looked her up, yes. So to the younger girls, the younger generation, take care of your health. It's not fat phobic to take care of your health. It's not a joke. And I'm saying this out of love, not out of self hate. Hi. I trained as a bariatric surgeon and I'm board certified in obesity medicine. So what I wanna say is you should go watch that video because it's full of really useful information. But in case you didn't know, there is a big space in between fat shaming, which is bad and should not be done, and providing accurate health information, which this creator is trying to do. So I wanted to just share this image, um, which shows 
some of the obesity related health consequences that our bodies have. Um, you can see here, there's a lot of them, including pulmonary disease and things you probably already are aware of, like diabetes and high cholesterol, th some things you might be less aware of, such as cancer. And so that's why as a medical community, we talk about obesity as a disease. It's not a lifestyle choice. It's not a willpower issue. It is a disease that has negative consequences on our health. And that's all that really matters from a medical perspective about it. And that's why often if your physician's talking to you, it's because they're talking about it to, with you as a disease and they're concerned for your health. Now, I know not everybody does this in the most sensitive um, or most thoughtful way, but that's where they're trying to come from. Hope this helps. I think that this whole response is very expected. Uh, so like not surprised that it happened at all. I don't know how to say it properly, but like all of their reasonings for being angry at this video. I just think the reaction to this, this video on TikTok was really interesting because I do think that with some of the things that these people are saying, they're kind of proving the opposite side of their point right, if that makes sense. Like, by saying that they experienced certain things to use as proof that this video was wrong, they are proving the people who don't agree with fat acceptance right. <laughs> and that's like the overarching theme that I saw. And I do just think it's interesting that one person's, one person's experience can trigger just a whole group of people on the internet. And I guess that is just the state of the internet right now, but I just think that's fascinating. And I honestly feel really bad for Gabriella because the video has since been taken down. And I don't know if it was taken down by TikTok or Gabriella herself or whoever, but if it was by Gabriella herself, I feel really bad <laughs> because I feel like she was just shamed into taking it down probably, and that makes me really sad. But overall, I think this was just a very interesting response and I wanted to kind of respond to the responses. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of all of these responses down below in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, drink your water, take your meds, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.